I'm going to show you a super quick tip on how to make fog inside of After Effects. Now, if you find this tutorial especially useful, make sure to subscribe because we have many more just like this coming up. So this is the final shot without the fog, and it looks pretty terrible. But with fog, it's going to look pretty awesome just like this. <laughs> So the trick lies within the Z-Depth Pass. My Z-Depth is an EXR, so right now we can't see anything, but if I add an Extractor Effect, drop that on my Z-Depth Pass, under Layers, select Z-Depth, we can see it right there. To create the fog, let's just create a new solid by hitting Control y selecting a foggy, fog-like color, which we can always change later on. I'll go with this muted blue, hit OK. Now with that fog solid selected, I'm going to apply a gradient wipe effect. Drop that right onto my solid. Under gradient layer, let's select our Z depth pass. And for source, I'm going to change that to effects and masks. Now we can't see anything yet, but if we increase the transition completion, we can see our fog is working. I'm going to go ahead and increase the transition softness a little bit and drop that Z depth below my beauty pass. And there we go, we have fog inside of After Effects. Now, of course, this is not limited to just solids. You can use any stock footage as well, which I like to do because it does add that extra level of realism, which we're always looking for with CG renders like this. So I'm gonna head on over to footagecrate.com, search for fog and select a fog that I like. I like this one. Bring that fog into After Effects. There we go, we have fog in our scene. It's 4K, so I'll scale it down. Now, I don't want to apply the gradient wipe effect directly to this smoky stock footage, because if I do, we can see it doubles up in a weird way because our layer does not perfectly match our comp width. So to not be limited to that, let's just delete that gradient wipe effect. I'm going to select my fog solid, duplicate it by hitting Control D, bringing that above my 4K looping smoky atmosphere. And with my stock footage of this fog selected, I'm going to go over to track mat and select the alpha mat. Now with that duplicate fog solid, we can control the transition completeness again. And we can see that our fog is working and in the scene. Now this scene does have a moving camera. So if I hit play, we can see it looks like our fog is floating around. I would just have to bake my Cinema 4D camera, bring that inside of After Effects, and then everything will work exactly as I want it to. If you want a tutorial on how to do that yourself, let me know in the comments below. All the 3D assets that you see here, like these dead trees, the ground texture, even the werewolf, are all from rendercrate.com. So if you want to try recreating this scene yourself, go ahead, sign up, and start downloading today. And again, if you want more, make sure to subscribe. That's it for today. Later, creators.